Hi, this video will show the last updates in Arnold Render View for M2A 1.2.7.0. So many things to show, let's start. So when you render, you will see that some new icons appear at the right of the toolbar. We're just trying to make things a little bit easier to understand. So by default, the IPR is started, so any change in Maya will immediately update the render view. This is why we have this kind of Wi-Fi icon here. It means that the render view receives the changes from Maya. And then if you stop the IPR, it aborts the render and it stops receiving the changes from Maya. And then after you edit your scene, you can either restart the IPR or just refresh once the render. So here, I'm choosing manually when I want to restart the render using the refresh button and then when I want I can restart the IPR and then it keeps refreshing automatically. You also have this uh, icon to open the display settings it's what we call before the loot window so now the settings are integrated in the main render view so you still have the same uh, settings as before, gamma exposure and so on but you can now also choose to rely on open color IO so this is new in this version. If you click on it, then you can pick uh, an OCIO configuration file and choose uh, a view transform. So you have the list of view transforms you can choose. You have a small description that shows up and choose uh, the transformation that you want. But you can also control that from Maya uh, color management preferences. So if I go in Maya preferences, if I change here in the native modes, mo most of them are supported in the render view, so uh, the gamma, log. But also, if I enable Open Color IO and change the view transform from Maya, you can see that it's updated automatically in the render view. So you can just use Maya Color Preferences or you can override it from the render view itself. And you can still load a 3D loot file, uh, but uh, now many other formats are supported since we rely on Open Color IO. Uh, in the background section, you can see that you can choose now whether you want to apply the loot to the background or not, the correct behavior being to apply it, but you can choose that. And actually, all these options are now saved in your Maya scene. Not, not only the display uh, settings options, but all the options from the render view. So when you save your scene and reopen it, now you should find it in the same configuration as before. And something else is that you can set these options by script now. So you, you'll find more examples in uh, our documentation. So let's uh, store a snapshot here. I can close the display settings. So now the, the snapshots library also is embedded inside of the main render view, so you don't have all these separate windows that you had before. So I stored a snapshot and let's do some changes in the scene and I really want to test this new parameter that so many of you had requested, the spread in the area light. So uh, if I change it, I can store another snapshot. Store a comment, for example. Spread zero dot. Okay. Up. Okay, let's put a comment on the first one too. Spread one. Okay, I can display one and the other to compare. And now I can also uh, select it and set as A or set as B. And I have this wipe in the middle of my image that I can drag to compare between two images. So here I have an A image and a B image. So I'm, I'm comparing between two snapshots. So I can even move the line or I can move the handles here to have any shape that, that I want. If I clear B, so now I only have a A image, it means that the other one is my live render. So I'm comparing a snapshot with my live render. I can see that if I change it, it's updating just one side of the, of the wipe. And then I can click this button to clear the A-B comparison. So that's also a new feature in this version. And if you want, you can even load an already existing image from a new file, load snapshot image. So it's going to load an existing file and add it to the snapshot library. So for example, you can compare your render with previous versions of your render. From this menu file, now saving as EXR is now supported for all platforms. And you can even save it as a multi-layer EXR. So all AOVs, here I just have one, but all the AOVs will be saved in a single EXR file. And you will notice maybe that this ID AOV that was added automatically by the render view for the picking is no longer there. 
hope you won't miss it but now we we don't need this AOV anymore and uh, this allows us to uh, support now picking procedural nodes as well as stand-ins which wasn't possible before and there have also been some changes in the crop region uh, tool so if I drag a region now uh, I can uh, move it by clicking on the small uh, arrow in the middle and I can drag the corners to resize the, the region and uh, the way it behaved before was a bit confusing so now if I click on the region again it clears the region and uh, shows the whole render you can still use the shift hotkey to, to drag the regions also now if you have several render layers and change the current one you will see that it's updated in the render view that wasn't working before uh, well in big scenes it may take longer because it's going to re-export the whole scene but yeah in, in general uh, we're trying to track the all the possible update issues during the IPR but when it's not working and, and it's outdated you can use the menu update full scene it's going to re-export the whole scene in the render view and one last thing is that some of you had faced some interactivity issues caused by the fact that the rendering was taking all the resources so now by default the render view is saving one thread uh, for the UI and for the whole Maya interface and uh, you can control that how many threads you want to save and this should make it uh, more interactive now so okay uh, that's all thanks for watching uh, th big thanks for all those who've been beta testing and sending a lot of bug reports and suggestions and please keep sending your suggestions through the mailing list bye